If you're a woman, I have a side hustle for you that will make $2,700 per day. And personally, I'm a little bit jealous because this is strictly a no male zone. Many millionaires are gonna be made, but only those who capitalize on it now will make it. You're joining the girl mafia. And don't worry, you won't have to kill anyone just yet. Everything you need to know to succeed will be in this video. Let's first start with context and then a bulletproof plan to get you to $2,700 per day. In the past, I've talked about the Guy Mafia. This is a group of people that have set up Twitter pages in various niches. The strip mall guy, the mobile home guy, the luxury watch guy, and the car dealership guy. There's loads more. All these guys talk about different things, but they have one thing in common. They share market insights and industry secrets on how their industry works. And people love it because these Guy Mafia pages have grown like crazy. The Guy Mafia have shown that if you leverage your audience correctly, you can make a lot of money. Take the car dealership guy. In a previous video, we talked about how he amassed 322,000 followers and is making multi single digit millions. People who do this will make tens of millions of dollars that basically the core of their business is just this Twitter account. We estimated that he's making around about 3.2 million a year, which is $8,767 per day. The problem here is there's an awful lot of guys in the mafia. There's not enough girls. And in some niches, I think you can make a lot more than the car dealership guy. And I'll reveal these niches soon, but let's not run before we can walk and get you to $2,700 per day first. The first thing you need to do is get people's attention. Now this won't be hard because as a member of the Gal Mafia, you are a walking billboard for what you do. So people will get it straight away. Also, the girl mafia is far less common than the guy mafia, so you'll instantly stand out. That's enough to get people to click, but it's not enough to get people to stay. To get them to stay, you need to mask the NPE framework. This will help you pick a niche, a platform, and an execution strategy. When picking your niche, this must be a topic that people will actually want insights for. There needs to be some stakes. The audience needs to tangibly benefit from you. If I started off a page called The Underwear Guy, I'd find it very hard to get a following. Number one, because I don't have a six pack. And number two, because I buy underwear once a year in bulk for 20 quid. It's low stakes. The Luxury Watch Guy, on the other hand, provides values on items costing tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. The value value of your insights correlate to the value of the product you are talking about. And the cumulative amount your followers spend correlates to how much you will earn. I don't know how much mobile homes cost. Actually, let me find out. 107k. Didn't know that. Anyway, if you're the mobile home guy and you agreed a brand deal or started a newsletter, you can charge much, much more than me, the underwear guy, because your product costs much more. And by the way, brand deals and newsletters is not where the big money is here, but we'll touch on that in the E part of the framework. You must be interested in your niche. Bullshit. This guy here made 9 million from a soap opera blog and he's never watched a soap opera in his life. Does it help if you like it? F yeah, but it's not necessary. Being part of the girl mafia means you're an anonymous account, so you can hire a good Ghostwriter. So when it comes to picking a niche, make sure it's a high ticket one, make sure there are some high stakes, and if it's a black box industry, even better. Now you wouldn't do well selling sun cream in a cave. In a similar way, you're not going to succeed in this if you are using the wrong platform. When it comes to picking a platform, you need to ask yourself one question. Where does my audience hang out? And this depends on the niche. If I was starting Entrepreneur Girl, I'd probably go with LinkedIn or Twitter because that's where lots of female entrepreneurs hang out. If I was starting Parenting Girl, I'd probably go to Facebook because that's where a lot of moms are. Or if I was starting Sunglasses Girl, I'd probably go Instagram because it's very visual. Whatever platform you decide, pick one and stick with it for eight, 10 weeks. If you don't see any success, start experimenting with other platforms and double down on the ones where you start seeing results. We want to make $2,700 per day and we'll go through an exact blueprint of how we're going to do that after we cover the last part of the MPE framework, execution. But to do that, we gotta change camera position because my arm is killing me from holding the light. There are many ways you can monetize being a member of the Girl Mafia. You could start a paid newsletter, a paid community, you can you know, negotiate brand deals. But like I said earlier, this is not the best way towards longer term profit. The way for you to maximize the amount of money you make here is to go to where your follower is feeling the most pain. And 99% of the time, that's gonna be at the transaction of the niche you are targeting. Get close to the transaction and you will use your leverage to the max capacity. Car dealership guy could have started a paid newsletter or, you know, negotiated a brand deal with BMW and he would have probably done okay. But instead, he identified where his followers were feeling the most pain, the transaction, buying and selling cars. So he started offering a service whereby he finds the car best fitted for you at the price he buys it for as a dealer and takes a fee on top, a flat fee. And he's making five to 10 times more doing this. <sighs> Enough guy mafia talk. Here are five girl mafia niches that I think would do exceptionally well. I'll rank them in order of their potential. 
Number one, the makeup girl. Makeup has an incredibly high customer lifetime value. It has a massive audience and I would start this on Instagram. Number two, the skincare girl, because skincare has a massive audience with a very high lifetime value. And again, I would start this on Instagram. Number three, the parenting girl. Parenting is a black box for people who are first time parents and they're willing to spend whatever they can to make sure their child is getting what they need. High ticket, high stakes. I would start this on Facebook. Number four, the wedding girl. Again, weddings are a black black box for most couples getting married and they are willing to spend unreasonable amounts of money to make it the day they've always dreamed of. Wait until you hear the next one. Once again, start this on Instagram. And number five, the one that I think has the most potential and the one we're going to do the $2,700 per day blueprint for the ring girl. Go on the rings. Engagement rings are a high ticket item, high stakes and a black box, especially for her males. So not only are you going to get followers from the people that want to get engaged, but you'll also get the follow from their partner when they go hey you should follow this girl which happens a lot and an added bonus here is that there's a lot of emotion involved in this transaction which means you can leverage your insights even more trust me I know this will work because I recently bought a ring from my girlfriend now fiance and I would have used this service in a heartbeat I'd start this on Instagram because you're targeting people here between the ages of 24 and 36 generally and Instagram is where they hang out hire a jeweler as your ghostwriter and pay them a commission for every penny you make their job here is to write me market insights and industry secrets that I can share on my Instagram page. You get close to the transaction here in two ways. You source rings yourself or you become a high ticket affiliate. Personally, I prefer the latter because sourcing and designing rings is a headache that I absolutely don't want. Yeah, you'll probably make a little bit less money, but far less stress. You launch a service whereby I help you and your partner find their dream engagement ring. Be completely transparent with the audience here and letting them know that you will find them their dream ring using your expansive network at the best price. All you need to do is fill out the Google form and all you need to do is click the link in my bio and all you need to do is fill all you need to do is click the link in my bio and fill out the Google form Yay! Yay! The average price of an engagement ring in the US is $6,000. So it's very reasonable to say that the cost per acquisition for a store that sells engagement rings is between $1,000 and $1,500. So I go to several stores and offer them my leads for $900. And these aren't just any leads. These are hot leads who want to buy an engagement ring and I know exactly what they want because they have filled out my Google form. To make $2,700 per day, you need to refer three people. Per day. That's 1,080 people per year. Let's be very conservative here and say that 0.5% of my following will fill out my form and the rest are there for just shits and giggles. That means you need a following of 216,000 people to reach this goal. Now you're probably thinking how long is that going to take me? Well Car Dealership Guy started in December 2021 and he currently has 322,000 followers at the time of recording. That's 14 months later. Does that mean you can do it in 14 months? Absolutely. Does that mean you will do it in 14 months? Absolutely not. You gotta grind this out, ladies and gentlemen, or in this case, just ladies. Technically, there's no stopping men doing this anonymous page either. So if you are a man watching up until this stage, there's your golden egg and your reward for watching this fire. However, I do think you have a better chance of succeeding as a member of the Girl Mafia as a woman, but that's not for me to decide. That's all for me. We'll see you in the next one. Slam.